So for step 21, attaching the driver figure. Well, we need to build them up, paint them, and uh, there's some stickers also, blockhead motor flags that have to go on, a few other things. And then we've got to attach him to the chassis. There is also this hatch, which actually says blockhead motors on it, which is interesting. Um, which is designed so that you can actually get into the mechanism box if you needed to make adjustments. I did notice that because of the way the ESC is placed, you could reset it if you needed to. So the, the hatch will have a functioning purpose to it. Um, I don't know how much, but there will be something. And then they've got this, which is a dummy cover which is meant to look like the old resistor back end that would have been on the hotshot for uh, dissipating heat, which is kind of cool because it's kind of make playing homage to the old, the old way of how things were. So there's the dummy cover. And then this one is kind of a dummy resistor. And then of course we've got our blockhead motors uh, cover and it says blockhead motors on it. So those are the screws and pieces that we're gonna need. So I will set this up and let's put this all together. So I decided that I would go ahead and paint this and finish it up just because, you know, every person who does this, is they're going to maybe paint it their own way. I decided to go with how they intended. Um, I didn't paint the actual body, but I painted everything around it, got him in there, put some eyes on, uh, some eyes on him, and I think it looks pretty good. Kind of a neat color scheme i like the red so that's going to go well against the the blue so he's finished so i think what we'll do is we'll start installing it so you can see here that there's one screw in mc6 which is one of the little ones and he needs to go right there on the top so let's take our driver figure he's gonna sit just like that and we'll be screwed in with this one screw into the top. So let's make sure that's correct, yes. So let's turn this sideways, gives me a bit more leverage and we'll get this driver figure screwed down. There we go. So driver figure for the hotshot is on, very cool. So the next thing to work on, it's showing that we have our mechanism box hatch, but it's showing that this piece, the body mount, has to go onto here, screws down onto there, but there's also a rubber seal that's gonna go on top, which obviously is gonna help with um, giving it basically the body a bit of cushioning but actually based on the way that's got to go we're going to need to screw that into here and we'll need our box wrench so I'll just make sure yep that's the one so let's screw this into here make sure that it's going in level Interesting that it's so long. Just want to make sure that that's going in fairly level. Yes. Yep. Okay. We'll just keep turning this in. down and it's kind of showing that the mount should be off to the side so I'm going to back this off just a bit because it's showing that it's to the side so we'll just back it off more or less like that actually I'll turn it one more yeah just like that that'll that'll work and then we have the rubber 
o-ring that's just going to sit over top which is going to give it a bit of cushioning so that it doesn't rip the uh, polycarbonate body so that is done so then you've got an mc6 screw again so it's another one of the small ones so we're going to take our car this slides underneath and then that will screw down right on the top Now, we're probably going to have to access that again, but I'll screw it in enough that it's down and we'll just keep screwing that one in. Just like that. There it is. So that's nice and tight, but that we'll get to it. So that's fine. Perfect. So then the last thing that we have to do is we need to put on the dummy resistor, essentially. So you can see that this is going to go in with this tiny screw on this side. It then goes into this part right here and we need to screw that into the metal because it's already threaded. The metal, the metal itself is already threaded. So you just need to screw this into place. And I'll just tighten this up a bit more. But you see here, it says don't over tighten. Well, that's obvious because this is such a small screw that if you were to over tighten it, you're going to strip it out. So I'm just tightening it enough that it's on there. But it's, it's very, very cool. Whole dummy resistor idea. So very cool. So then we only have our two MC4 screws left. You can see, and if we just bring this up a bit, you can see that the way this is done... This is going to attach to the back end right here, just like that. And the two screws will go into the back and through into here. So let's grab one of them and we'll put that through there. And then that's going to go into here. So in fact, let's hold on to that a bit. Well, I screw that in and I won't go all the way yet until we've got the other one on. There we go. So in fact, yeah, it might be harder to see might be harder for you to see it from there but that's okay it's hidden underneath the resistor so I will screw this into place and there we go so there's our dummy resistor on the back end that does look super super cool <laughs> and our driver figure and whatnot looks super, super cool too. So that's, that's awesome. So that means that step 21 is complete. So now we're going to move on to step 22 and work on the roll cage. Mm -hmm.